Did you watch the Lakers game last night? Uh, yes. First of all, let me say this. Luka, I, I thought now, you know, Dallas, Dallas won 109-104. They jumped out to a nice lead in the second quarter. And then the third quarter, the Lakers had this big run, right, to make yeah, it a game. Well, LeBron yeah. hit the three threes, right? Three huge, you know, long threes in a row. Um, you know, he's a streaky shooter. He's not a great shooter. He's a streaky shooter. And he, he went on a streak, got him back in the game. But I thought Luka, who, you know, 25, 8, and 5, so nice game by him. He was dominating early. I, I, I kind of feel like he took his foot off the gas. Like he just didn't what do you shoot mean? as in much. In that third quarter? Yeah, the second. Yeah, the, yeah they got the big lead. I, I, I don't only, know why. Yeah, Maybe I'm just scored. imagining it. Right? What they score? 14 they points? They scored 14 points in the yeah, third it was, quarter. It yeah. was a bad third quarter, and, and the Lakers had 31 or 31 like to that. 14. Yeah, they yeah it was yeah. ugly. It was ugly for uh, – I was surprised as well. Yeah, he wasn't shooting. He was creating open shots for guys, but he wasn't really taking it upon himself. But I, I don't know. But anyway, Lakers lost their third straight game, Rob. What is that, and 10 for out those of 13? Of us, 10 out of 13? It's I bad. don't know exactly. I can find that out. It, but was, nine, for, it was 9 out of 12, I think, Chris. So it's 10, oh, 10 so out of 13. Yeah. yeah, it would be 10 out of 13. Um, but for those of us who've been paying attention, Rob, this is not surprising. And I don't mean the fact that they've lost a few games. But remember, one of the things we were saying all year long was the schedule's about to heat up. Like, right. that was a they, shocker, right? Chris, their schedule... Moving forward, on paper, I'm here to tell you, on paper, they're not making the playoffs. On, on paper. Well, the and, play and, in? So, no, like, they're what, not. Yeah, they're not making it. What do you say? Me, can I, can I give you? Let me just give it to you real quick. I, I do have it. I looked at this, and uh, it, it's pretty. But, I mean, can you clarify what you mean? Yeah, here we go. Not making the playoffs. You, you don't think they'll no, get in not, the top ten? Yeah, no. Here so they go. won't make the play in. Oh, that's a they, statement, Rob. They, they I mean, got, don't they don't got, gloss that over. No, they got twenty one games left, fourteen of them on the on the road. Um, and they're nine and eighteen as a road team. They're a bad road team. Right. And then they have of their seven home games, five of them are against Golden State, Phoenix, Denver, Philadelphia, mm. and Toronto. So there's no easy wow. road ahead, is what I'm saying, Chris. When you look at how many road games, and then five of the seven home games are games you're probably going to lose. So they're, they're in for a, a rough road. They're going to have to win some road games in order to make it. I mean, that's a tough schedule. Would you agree with that? That's a heck of a – I mean, we, I didn't know it was like what you just said, yeah. but I did know that they had the toughest schedule in the West. Remaining. Wow. No, that, that is a murderous row. And, here, saw- and you know this, Rob. Ain't nobody trying to do the Lakers any favor. No, if they got a chance to rub it in, yep. Chris, they're yep. going to, especially LeBron, and and they got four top 75 players on the team. What? Yep. Oh, no, this Absolutely. is our chance. No doubt. Absolutely. You're right. so, so let me go back to this. Are you saying it doesn't sound as obscene now no. that you look at the schedule, but are you actually saying they won't be in the top 10? Yeah, I I don't think they're going to be in the top 10. I, I do wow. not. I really don't wow. because of what I'm looking at, and I'm looking for games that they're going to win. There are no they're gimmies with this team. 11th, they're two up on 11th seed at Portland. So it ain't much cushion. And Cor- Portland is trying to get in. You know, Anthony Simons, the young kid, is playing well. He's, He's playing, excited, yeah. right? Yep. He's like, hey, I, I'm arrived. And if um, they can somehow do it, like, I mean, Normie would say – Two games, you know, that team against this Laker team. But I'm just looking at all these – a lot of things have to go right. And and the schedule just doesn't – and they don't look like – they don't look like they can beat anybody at this point. I know that sounds ridiculous, <laughs> Chris. Well, but – They've lost looked, 10 or 13. The way they, they don't look like they can beat anybody. And you can't just say, oh, Dallas. Dallas is one of the hottest teams in the league. Yeah, but they just lost to New Orleans. Yep. You know what I mean? So you can't they, – they're losing everybody. That leads us to this, Rob. There was a story in The Athletic that came out uh, this week, and it was ranking. They did their mid-season tiers, right, of players. 
that they always do. I like how they do a midseason and we only got 21 games left. Right. I know, <laughs> right. I mean, it was after the All-Star no, game. I, I know, but you know, but what, you know what, I mean? what I'm like, saying, right. I don't know why. I mean, obviously they started the season a little bit earlier. You know, like a week earlier or something like that they've been doing recently. But may, they might have to – well, they don't want to rethink the All-Star game. You can't make it earlier because you got the Super Bowl. Yeah. Right? I mean, Nobody would care. So – they, I guess they're stuck, but yeah, it was ridiculous. I would make like it the week of the, the Pro Bowl, the week of the Pro Bowl where nobody kind of cares about Well, that. but the Pro Bowl ratings, and this is why they won't get rid of it, right? The ratings are great. I mean, you know, especially relative to other sports. Yeah, I so just, I I'm just saying, like to the have Pro the All-Star Bowl game so late. probably would outshine out the NBA All-Star game as much as I don't think it should. But anyway, they did their tiers, and they had a 1A and a 1B tier. And, Rob, for the first time, they did not have LeBron James on the 1A tier. Here are the 1A tier players. I'm going to give you 1A and 1B. All right, 1A was Giannis, Kevin Durant, and Nikola Jokic. 1B is LeBron, Joel Embiid, Kawhi Leonard, I'm mean, Kawhi shouldn't even be listed. I mean, but anyway, they got him on. It's all for reputation, and he's hurt. Yeah, so I mean, got- he, I, I'm not saying drop him. I'm just saying he shouldn't right. even be eligible. Luka Doncic and Steph Curry. So all of those are, you know, all terrific players. But it's news that they, you know, a lot of people have felt like LeBron's still a top three player. He's obviously putting up big numbers. His numbers are like his career numbers, which is crazy. But where do you agree with that, KD? Giannis and Jokic uh, all above LeBron, and LeBron not on the top tier anymore. I, I agree with that. And, and I think that they have to take into consideration just putting up numbers. And he, you're right, Chris. His numbers are good. Very good. It, they're his career. His, his, let me just read them quickly. 19 years in, he's still he's on his, his average. His career average, Rob, 27 points a game. He's averaging 29, 28.9. Right. Career rebound, 7.5. He's averaging 8. Career assist, 7.4. He's averaging 6.3, and he's shooting 52%, which is better than his career average. So the numbers are freaking ridiculous. But but, but they don't have the same impact. We've been talking right. about it all year. An impact in the game has something to do with it. When LeBron put up those numbers, and you just can't blame and say, well, look at his teammates and all that. Um, because one of the narratives always about LeBron was that he made his teammates better, right? Like he... You, you can't have it both ways. Right. And You're it doesn't, right. right? I, th- that's always been a narrative. Look, well, who is he playing with? And I, it's been true. Right? I'm, but I mean, I'm just it's saying. It's been a true narrative. I actually think he's carried a lot of guys more so than made. I mean, he's made some players, but he definitely makes role players. But you know what I mean, Spot right? Shooters but, and all that. But, but this yeah. team, this hasn't been the, the fact, especially. Right. And I get Anthony Davis, but come on, Westbrook and some of these other guys that they have, they're decent players, Chris, to beat. Uh, the Thunder and and some of these other the Kings and some games that we've seen them lose this year. I mean, well, Rob, come on. we talked about it. The one of the shocking things in their losing early in the season was that the schedule was light. How many right. freaking times did they play Oklahoma City? Like a, or, like or a, the Kings? I mean, and they know, lost back to back weeks. Of, okay, Houston. so you remember that? Yeah, yeah, it was just ridiculous. I'm with you. Um, I do think it's fair that he drops to one B. Um. And I've been, Rob, you know I've been saying this all year because a lot of people have felt like he's still the same LeBron just by looking at, I guess they're not watching the games, but they're looking at numbers. You just can't and look I've been at numbers. And i saying, no, yeah, he is not the same LeBron. And, and Rob, I'm going to say it to these youngsters out here, and this is not to poo-poo anybody's numbers, but it's a fact. It's easier to get numbers to date than it no used to. Doubt. No it, it doubt. No doubt. Like, that, just just like passing you just like guys. passing yards, Chris, right. in the NFL. Yep. I'm sorry. That's you can say point. whatever you want, but the passing yard numbers are inflated. Yeah. And the touchdowns are inflated. They used to hand those balls off, Chris, at the five yard line to running backs. Right. Now they throw into the end zone every single time. Right. It's a different game. I'm sorry. That's why I don't go ahead and make a fool of yourself and compare uh, a Carson Wentz's numbers to Joe Montana's. Exactly. Because they probably look pretty good compared to Joe's, but it was a whole different game for many reasons. Uh, Montana's still one of the top two quarterbacks ever, and Wentz ain't. 
<laughs> so, but uh, that's a good point, Rob. But that we got to, just to illustrate this point, these are the guys that are close, like, like within spitting distance of a triple-double average. Still Westbrook, as bad a season as he's having, Nikola Jokic, Luka Doncic, James Harden, who hasn't had a, a great year by his standards. Those guys are all like, th- th- my point is that's how much easier it is today. Because rebounds, perimeter players can get them a lot easier because they're long rebounds from long jump shots. Half or a third of your shots are worth three points. It's easy to get to the basket because they're running you off the three-point line and the floor is so spread out that there's really very little resistance at the rim once you get there. And so it's just a different game, so the numbers are different. But I have said LeBron's numbers may be the same, but he's not dominating the game like he always has, defensively, obviously, but also offensively. And, Rob, one of my I, – I, one of the things I, I haven't loved, let's put it that way, about LeBron's game just throughout his career is his ball dominance. And he's not ball dominating anymore, and thus he's not able to control the game, but I don't think he could be ball dominant anymore for 35 minutes because he just doesn't, at his age, you can't do it. So is LeBron 1A or 1B in the league nowadays? All right, let's kick it off with Mark in Detroit. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What up, Mark? What's going on, Rob? What's going on, Chris? Um, What's I'm up, a man? Loyal listener, man. Thank I you. Uh, Rob, yes. I know you're a Detroiter, man, so I know you know about Seven Mile and Gratiot. That's where I'm I, from. You know, my barbershop is seven mile an hour to drive on the west side. Come on, Sporty I'm Cuts, right there. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm on the east side. Yeah, I know where you are. Rob don't know nothing about that. Yes, I do. way out there. Rob way out there. Oh, out there I'm, on, way I'm in the hood. He ain't. He ain't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Rob don't know nothing about that. Rob don't know nothing about that. <laughs> Go ahead, Mark. Um, yeah, I say uh, LeBron is. One, I think he's still one A, man. I really, really. Do. I feel like, well, okay, you gotta explain that. Yeah. See, the reason why I feel this way is because I, I just I mean, if somebody able to put up twenty nine, eight, and six, I mean, come on, man. I mean, everybody. But not it's, it, it, they're not uh, winning. They're no not. One. They're losing the bad teams. Right. Like, like he doesn't have any impact on winning with those numbers. I mean, but come on, fellas. What is he supposed to do with this squad? Man? I mean, come on. They, I mean, I mean, they. they have, have you no- looked at the Clippers roster? The Clippers have nobody. They're winning, Chris. They won again last night. They've won. They've won uh, six of their last eight or whatever. They're rolling. They're without Paul George and Kawhi Leonard. Dallas doesn't have much around Luka. Uh, Denver is without his second and third best players. Uh, Jamal Porter's Murray, out. Porter Jr. Yep. Memphis is a bunch of young kids. I'm just saying, like, look, LeBron's still great. 1B is top five, essentially. But let's but be honest, though, he, right? LeBron at his best could carry me, Rob G, Rob, and Alex to the playoffs. He obviously can't do that anymore. So that's why, we're, to me, that's, there's a serious drop-off from the LeBron we've known and loved. Yep, let's squeeze one more in. What about... Uh... Eli in the Bay Area, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What up, Eli? Hey, what's up, fellas? How's it going? How are you, Good, man? How are you? Hey, doing well. So hear me out. Not only is he a 1B player, but I think he's been 1B for the last three out of four years that he's been in L.A. Wow. The first year that they were out there, remember, playoff activation mode? Yes. Then you lost right. to the worst teams in the league. The right. second year, bubble, cool. Yep. Third year, AD goes down. They were giving him MVP chance. That's the one year where I could kind of maybe see that. And then this year again, you're playing with like three other top 75 players. You got Westbrook on your team, which previous people at least got to the playoffs with. Right. LeBron gets the credit for always uh, carrying people. But quite honestly, if you look at the history of all the all-stars or superstars that he's played with, all their numbers go down. Right. When they no, get with LeBron, I, so. I think that's fair. Like LeBron makes role players better, not like stars. Kyle Corver, Mike Miller. Yeah, I mean, he did he make Chris Bosh better? He got Chris Bosh some rings. Did he? Chris Bosh went down. He, he was he, he was a role he was, player. He was Kevin standing Love. out on the three point line, Chris. Right. 
I mean, he got them rings, and so they got to be happy with that. But their individual games went down, obviously. 